So we're going to look at this guy that apparently was um, manipulating a lot of women in the VTubing space. And there's been like a topic that's been shown on to me recently that a lot of male VTubers nowadays have uh, recently caused a lot of controversies. And this was presented to me yesterday by someone in chat. And I want to take a look at this. But before we get into that, if you're enjoying this video, please like the video itself so it helps the algorithm a little bit. And also, if you enjoy Reacts, Feel free to subscribe to the channel, but let's now get into that. Today's subject. Women. <laughs> Women. Oh. Ooh. I beg your pardon. I'd like to explain it, because it's fucked up. All right. Static Tokyo-san, bye. Ladies and bros and non-binary niggas. I may have to... What a intro. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck is that intro? Oh my god, what? Leap that out, because I don't know if this is the first seven seconds. Uh, we got ourselves a freaky ass, hungry, hungry, glizzy ass. There is more to it than meets the eye. There's definitely more to the situation uh, than it seems. So this video might be a little on the longer side because I want to give both sides a fair chance. What it is this? I think bit lost. Like lewd tubers being lewd tubers. Damn. They they love being they love having a little bit of fun in VR chat, huh? Tubers being lewd tubers. That's which great. Is an insult. I think a lot of them <laughs> are really cool. Some of them being problematic, but there's problems in every facet of the community. Let's be uh, mean. I blew up Malaysia. Lord Berserker, nice. a Twitch streamer, had a doc Jeez, release. Nigga. A VTuber's worst nightmare. Oh my god. You know that if somebody releases this about you, there's something wrong. Like, you don't even need to read it. You just got instantly mad. Like, what? What is? Damn. Now, let's go over all the things bro was accused for. Okay. <clears throat> Seems to be is that he manipulates women that are in vulnerable places in their life or uses women uh, to gain stuff that he wants. What the fuck's going on? I kind of encapsulate everything, really. Also, all the docs that I'm getting this info from, screenshots and all, will be linked in the description. So, you know. Read, nigga! Read! Ah! But the gist is, bro would use sympathy sure with his financial status to manipulate women for his personal gain. Not exactly a good thing to do. To support this claim, there are various screenshots shown of his interactions with multiple women. You want me all to yourself, huh? I need my cock to get fucked. So anyone will do or you want me? That's the question, because you know I'll fuck you. B, you pass out? Damn. That's crazy. <laughs> is he the one? So this is the guy getting canceled? Or this guy getting canceled? Like, who's who's getting canceled? <laughs> and like, I seem like they're just like having a synergy. A lot of these screenshots are being on the more flirtatious and lunar side, you know, a little, Damn. A little quirky. <laughs> But these screenshots does kind How of does back do up the claim that he makes the women feel special to get something he wants. Mm. In this screenshot, he states that he doesn't let girls that want to talk to him have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with him. I beg your pardon? Considering there's a lot of screenshots, I think the nigga straight up kind of lied. Oh lord. Lied there, but you know, whatever. He even goes on to ask if this individual was single. Oh my haha, ha. I have a question. Forgive me for asking. You single or taken? I don't want to step any boundaries. That thought question to answer is complicated, honestly, because technically I'm married. Damn, he's going for married women. Like he's looking he's looking for those hags. That's crazy. She answered that she is technically married, but is on my way out, and I have been for a few years. Wow. So he's taking the vulnerable I women. Did something wild there. It's probably isn't easy to get out of a marriage, but you know, I gotta make my joke. I wonder like a little bit, like, is this guy just messaging every V to refines? Like Cause how do you end up like how I think my question is like how do you first of all how are you technically married? If you're married, you're married. Second of all how do you, how do you, where do you find these people? Is there like a Discord or something where like VTuber that are a little bit unhinged just start going wild? Or do everybody just add each other somewhere? I don't, I don't get it. I gotta take my jabs. I think, I, he just, know. I think he just messaged everything that is female. Perhaps I've seen those. I've seen those in a few communities. That's kind of wild. 
haha common uh Damn. basically i guess this was provided to highlight that he a makes the person feel bitch. special and b likes to go after someone in a more vulnerable position that's the guy that like biting people don't cry and every screenshot after that is just flirtatious shit. You know, your casual YouTuber shenanigans. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Jesus. There is another screenshot where it appears someone was trying to call him out on their shit. Basically, someone hits bro up and asks bro if he only likes her because she is flirtatious towards him. And if they're just one of the other girls he talks to that way. Bro responded by saying, I considered you as a good friend. <laughs> Shotty then hits back with a full paragraph that honestly oh puts my God. It's on the screen. You can read it all. But basically, she doesn't like the fact she has to be quote unquote sexy to talk to him and that the friendship feels one sided. He then goes on to basically say, No, I swear it's not like that. I'm not that type to ask for that. That appears to be a common theme with this nigga. The whole, I'm not the type to blink. You know, that, that, that sort of thing. You know, it's a little, it's a little, ah. Yeah. And basically it ends there now it could be that bro views friendships whatever he said than she does maybe i personally wouldn't like if i had to constantly flirt with my friends to get attention uh, i think that's a little odd kissing all by yourself so i'm like yeah because of the editing i'm a little bit lost like is this guy just an individual that try to hook up with every female that he finds on the internet like anybody that remotely looks like a female or was this guy like actually manipulating people in the within the community and going through because so far with what i've seen it's just like it seems like just a guy that's a little bit desperate considering the other screenshots bro really loves to flirt that's just him just say he's yeah, just a wee farming gp yes fuck this cocky okay this is kind of too much man don't stop fuck that's me good, good horny fuck nice fuck this crack <laughs> wow yo yeah bro, bro gotta work bro gotta work on his wrist bro it's like a 16 year old trying better, to flirt with people you would never catch me calling myself the sex god the sex god there is another screenshot that i think is there to portray how he inadvertently acts for things to get bought for him in this case and the ex god yeah led, which is a lot of fucking money by the way this is 14 but i overall, think so too i kind of wrote this one off because it did he's like 15 16 on the switch regardless uh but you can read all the screenshots for yourself there are definitely some i left out so please go read them yourself not a news vtuber you know the whole shtick i just like talking shit uh please form your own opinion tell me about him in the comments anyway let's get into lord berserker's response Now, before I get into bro's retort into all these claims, he low-key self-reports himself here because I don't know if I missed something or someone else brought it up in the replies, but he talks about an incident he has had with a minor. Mm. Oh my God, no, no, no. Is he a minor? I didn't see anything mm. that said he did anything crazy, but he did ask for the person's... Wait, I have to make sure though. I know it's a stupid question, but you're 18 plus, right? Yeah, I am. Age. There you go where then the minor lied. Don't mm. do that, by the way. If you're underage, don't lie about it. Now she comes back and tells the truth and says that she lied due to her Vietnamese culture. I'm ignorant when it comes to that specific culture. So if you're Vietnamese and this person is speaking the truth, let me know. I, I am open to learn. Berserker, I feel handled it completely different than how I would in this particular situation. I personally would have, uh, you know, cut them off. Don't worry. But he decided well, to stick around one way to deal with the it. truth and said to hold off on doing anything non safe for work or inappropriate until she is of age, which is. I That's don't weird. Know. Take it as you want. Now, going into the beginning of the doc, bro has a whole my side section where he says that he doesn't see an issue with him flirting with people when he is single, which is true. Do your thing, cuz I ain't gonna judge. I'm probably gonna weird. judge a little bit. Anyway, he also says that these are just friendships, not sexual ones. Stop the cat. <laughs> a little weird coming from the sex god berserker himself. Man. <laughs> I'm not he ain't living to the name. Man. He then says that those that may fall for him isn't his issue. Don't care. A little fucked up. Got me. <laughs> but I true. He then goes on to say that asking for money and games also isn't true. And that he tries to keep his money situation money. hushed unless it's we like close rich. friends. We broke. He also tries his best Dude, to make sure that his friends never feel pressure to buy him anything. I feel like that claim is a he said, she said, but you know, whatever. After that, he brings up a woman that he was flirtatious with. I love you, bitch. But is in a poly relationship, even though it doesn't really seem like they want to be in one. 
Girl, being somewhat disrespectful, was asking if they should stop with their tomfoolery, with her definitely not wanting to. Uh, despite having a partner that seems to not be aware of how their relationship is. I know they are poly, but don't both partners need to be in the know? I'm ignorant to that sort of thing because I am in fact a jealous nigga and I like mm. monogamy, so we gonna keep it rolling. He then goes on to talk about another woman who does buy him stuff and he says that they just had- So this guy is just like, so I, I, I feel like I've been clickbaited. And I thought this was going to be some wild shit because I was presented yesterday with things that male VTubers have been fucking up left and right. But this seems just like a 16 year old dude that is trying to throw his fishing line to every single girl he can find on Discord or Twitter or wherever. He's trying to hook him up and like call himself Mr. Sex God so they can end up paying for his shit because his mama don't want to buy his shit, you know? So you got to find the sugar mama. A flirtatious relationship, which seems to be most of his relationships with women at this point. The screenshots provided basically tells us that this person likes buying him stuff. Like I also lot. love that. That's like great. a lot, a lot. Which isn't a bad buy thing. Buy everything. You know, some people are just like that. Buy me a car. <laughs> To be honest, this situation is a little hard to say if bro is a manipulator or not. If anything, it bro doesn't look seems like, like it, he no. has commitment issues, but still wants the intimacy. Maybe a bit of a womanizer at worst, mm. in my opinion. I don't know. What do you take from all this? If you want a clearer picture, please go check out all the documents and screenshots for yourself in the description. Uh, you know the drill. If you want my videos early, become a member and or patron. Please subscribe because a lot of people don't. And hit the notification bell because I, I do stream here on YouTube and Twitch sometimes. True, oh, click that, click that, do that. The description as well. All right. Like, peace. I think this guy, he seems just like a general 16 year old that is desperate for women. Like that haven't been, haven't like done, really met that many girls in his life and just going wild on the internet. You see these dudes everywhere. It doesn't seem like he's a manipulator. It doesn't seem like he's an evil guy. I just think he's young and that's pretty much it. I guess that in some sort of way, I'm I'm a little bit happy. I looked at this video and it wasn't as bad as it was perceived because I was starting to think that with everything I've been told, I was starting to think that male VTubers have recently just been popping off and doing all the wildest shit. But apparently not. This is just like a regular teenager just, you know, being horny and cranking it like hard. And going all the way for anything that breeds. And it's like, you see this with everything. You see it with girls too, like playing around with dudes. You know, like everybody. Do, like, it's it's just like a teenager thing. So it, I don't think this is bad, but I don't know. Like, it's not really, it's not that great either. But yeah, that's my thought on this.